Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher Jam Lokbanin Buslog. So guys, welcome po again to my YouTube channel. So for today, so what I'm going to discuss naman is about the cookery and C2 subject. Okay, so since uh, today is the second uh, semester, ano, so ngayon po i-discuss ko naman yung uh, the introduction or the introductory of the uh, module 2 of 2 ng cookery and C2. Okay. So I have a book with me. So kung meron kayo guys na book na ganito, so usually ito yung ginagamit natin sa DepEd. Okay. So itong subject na to na cookery and C2 is for one year. So, the other half of this, the first module of this, the module 1 of 2 nito ay for first semester and the module 2 of 2, which is ito nga. So, dahil ngayon nga ay second uh, semester, ano, so ngayon po ay uh, i-introduce ko ulit sa inyo yung ating subject na cookery and C2. Okay. So, I do not have here a, a soft soft copy. Ang meron lang po ako is a hard copy, which is this one, the, the book. Okay? So, uh, actually, dun, as far as I know, wala tayong milks. Kasi lahat po talaga ng ating, uh, uh, yung nilalaman ng ating mga manuals ay uh, talagang most essential learning talaga siya. So, lahat talaga siya ay importante. So, di-discuss na natin ha. But before we are going to talk or to discuss our first lesson, so mag introduction muna tayo. Ano? So, wag muna kayong maging uh, ma-excite. -ma okay? So, this cookery module 2 of 2, this uh, is a module that make up the cookery manual. So, it includes information and activities to develop uh, desirable values, skills, and understanding through authentic tasks on how to clean, maintain, and uh, sanitize the kitchen tools and equipment and uh, working premises which are important routines after each preparation of foods in the kitchen. Okay. So, it also contains the step-by-step -step procedures and helpful techniques and guidelines on how to prepare, present, and store uh, yeah. foods like the meat, uh, the dessert, the, the appetizer, the salads and salad dressings, the sauces, the soup stocks, seafood, uh, the meat, yeah, and game poultry, vegetables, the cereals, and starches, and others. Okay, since today is a uh, second semester, so iba ng part yung ating gagawin. Kasi na we already done or through with the, uh, the appetizer, the salad and salad dressing, sandwiches, and desserts. So that is for the first semester. But for the second semester, what we are going to discuss ay uh, ang mga egg cereal starches, the vegetable and seafood, the stock sauces, soups, and poultry dishes, meat dishes, and how are going to prepare and pack, package or pack the dishes. Okay? So, yun lang yung mga gagawin natin. Medyo konti lang siya. Ano? <laughs> konti ba? Ah, hindi ba? Ganun talaga. Kasi, lahat ng ito ay kailangan nating i-discuss, matakel, at magawa. Kasi, these are the most essential learning learning competencies na kailangan nating ma-achieve. Okay? So, but don't worry, kasi hindi naman ganun kahirap ang magluto. ba? If you have a background in cooking, so, ma madali na para sa inyo. Diba? So, we have uh, provisions for practical applications to real-life situations are also included for the lifelong learning. Yan. And the lesson on the PECS. What is the PECS? I mean, PECS is the uh, 
uh, personal entrepreneurial competencies that will help the learners to determine their abilities that need to be enhanced and weaknesses to be improved in order to attain success. Yun, yun naman pala ang ibig sabihin ng PECs or Personal Entrepreneurial Competencies. The market and environment uh, lessons, on the other hand, is to show how to identify the needs and wants of the people in the community for possible business opportunity. All of those expose learners to a wide variety of experiences and opportunities to acquire work skills, work values, and expertise which will help the learners in choosing an occupation or career or eventually put up uh, his or her own business in line with the cookery. Like what? Yes, tama ka. Uh, bakery or bake shop, uh, catering services, restaurant or, and bar, and so on and so on. So, yun. Uh, and thus making learners self-reliant and productive members of the society. So, yan. Yan po yung ating uh, cookery module 2 of 2. Para naman sa mga learners, itong manuals or this uh, lesson, uh, online lesson, is to provide a varied and relevant activities and opportunities to, to determine your understanding of the key concepts and demonstrate core competencies as prescribed by the test that training regulations in the cookery. So, yan. So, this manual is specifically crafted to focus on the different activities that will assess your level in level in terms of skills and knowledge necessary to get a certificate of competency or we call that a national certificate level 2. Ay, ito yung tinatawag nating NC2. So, para magkaroon ka ng uh, NC2, so dapat ay ikaw ay makapag-enroll, training, or mag-aral muna ng, uh, let's say, ang qualification mo is cookery. So dapat, ikaw ay mag-e-enroll, mag-training, mag-aaral, aral ng cookery NC2 for you to get a certificate or the national certificate level 2. Yan. So, hindi basta ganun lang tayo makakakuha ng NC2 certificate because we need to undergo a training. Ano, magte-training muna tayo, mag-aaral muna tayo para tayo ay makapaghanda for the assessment in the National Certificate Level 2. Okay, so yan. The successful completion of this specialization ensures that you have acquired the essential skills to be on your way to become a certified chef. So, sino ba naman sa atin ang hindi nagahangad na maging isang chef? Diba? So, yan. Ako, even me, ako ay uh, uh, gusto ko talaga maging chef. So, that's why I I took or I trained the culinary uh, trained the culinary arts at the Holland American Line hindi po yun sa ibang bansa meron naman training center dito sa Pilipinas so yun so I got the certificate and ayun nga so yan ibig sabihin pinagwe ready ka kung ano man ang gusto mong maging uh, pagdating or in the future so yan gusto ko maging chef kasi all of my families uh, my uncles brothers and the uh, relatives are they're all seafarer ano, they are seafarer so mga trabaho, trabaho nila sa barko ay chef yes, mga chef sila so magagaling silang magluto so that's why I encourage kumbaga na encourage ako to, to take uh, the training and enroll in the culinary arts para at least naman uh, hindi lang for my self-development, growth development, of course, para, rin, para na rin maging, kumbaga, uh, hobby, libangan, and, and mali nyo, in the near future, maging trainer din kayo. ba? So, yan. 
So, let us now move on, okay? Content standard. Ano ba yung content standard ng ating cookery, uh, cookery and C2? So, the learner demonstrate understanding of the core con concepts and theories in the cookery lessons. And uh, the learner independently demonstrates core competencies in cookery as prescribed by the TESDA uh, training regulations. So, dapat tayo ay uh, aligned dun sa binigay ni TESDA uh, ng TR training regulations. Ano ba yung objectives ng ating cookery NC2? Siyempre, as a learner, you are expected to become a proficient in performing the following competencies. So, ito yung mga competencies na gagawin nyo. So, kailangan natin perform itong mga fa the following competencies which are number one is to develop the personal entrepreneurial skills. Ito yung na-discuss ko ng a little bit kanina. And prepare the egg dishes. Is to prepare the cereal and starch dishes. Prepare the vegetable dishes. And prepare uh, the cook seafood dishes, prepare the stock sauces and soups, prepare poultry and game dishes, and prepare and uh, prepare and cook meat or cooking meat. So, yan yung mga objectives na kailangan nating ma-meet and ma-aim for this whole uh, second semester. Okay? What are the learning episodes na mangyayari? Okay. Para lang series, di ba? May episode tayo. So, the learning episodes, uh, this learning resources is subdivided into uh, two quarters. Two quarters kasi for the second semester, we have third and fourth quarter. Di ba? Dalawang quarter na lang. So, which may serve as the recommended scope and limit for every academic grading period. In every quarter, there are lessons that comprise the learning outcomes. So, before the exploring core competencies of cookery, you will be guided on how to assess on your own pecs or your, your own personal entrepreneurial competencies and skills. Okay? And demonstrate your understanding about the environment and market. So, in the first or the third quarter, the second semester, third quarter, it is composed of two, uh, four lessons. And now, uh, the four lessons is about on the preparation, cooking and presenting different kinds of egg dishes, the cereal and starch dishes, the vegetable dishes and seafood dishes, and the different kinds and classifications of vegetables and seafood, cooking, plating dishes, and storing of the food items. So, those are in the third quarter for the... Uh, this semester okay and the other quarter the fourth quarter natin it consists on the le of the lessons on preparing the stock sauces and soups and the poultry and game dishes and also how are we going to prepare and cook different kinds of meat like pork beef carb beef and others so yun yung mga uh, learning episodes that we're going uh to to discuss all through the all throughout or all through way okay so enjoy using uh enjoy using or watching this video or uh, youtube tutorial so for you to be guided and become a successful chef in the future yes okay so now we are at the uh, let us discuss now the pecs so, what is the personal entrepreneurial competencies and skills? So, dito sa ating uh, module 1 for the second quarter of the cookery NC2, module 2 of 2. So, um, in this module or in this e-module, you will learn more about the entrepreneurial and the entrepreneurial competencies related to cookery. And you will have the a uh, uh, first-hand experience in educational activities leading to um, personal assessment of your own uh, entrepreneurial competencies and assessment of the entrepreneurial competencies of a successful chef within your 
area. You will also have some activities that will align to your competencies with those of successful practitioners. And moreover, this e-module will stimulate your mind to think about entrepreneurship and its role in the business community as well as in the economic and social development. Yes. And to start with this module, let us first understand the entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. I know that I know that guys that you have already uh uh Done or take or took the subject the entrap subject. Okay, uh, ito ay ano lang um, recap. Okay, mabilis lang to kasi alam niyo na tong subject ng entrap, de ba? So um, the entrepreneurs are the people with skills and capabilities to see and evaluate business opportunities. They are individuals that can strategically identify products or services needed by the community and they have the capability to deliver this at the right time and the right place. So, meaning the entrepreneurs can contribute to economic change. They organize, manage, and assume, assume risk of a business and some of the good qualities of the entrepreneur are the opportunity seeker, risk taker, and goal setter. At hindi lang yon. They are excellent planner and they are confident problem solver. Of course, they are also a hardworking person, persistent, and committed worker. So, yan yung mga entrepreneurs. That's why I am so very proud dun sa mga entrepreneurs out there na kahit uh, kahit sa ganitong panahon in times of pandemic crisis they can survive still survive ano so bakit because they are risk taker they have a goal goal that to meet and they have an excellent planner and kahit alam nila na mahirap isolve ang problem still they find solutions with their problems and also persistent hard work etc 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 so that's why i am so proud to those uh, entrepreneurs out there okay may, may share ako one of my culture uh, siya ay medyo matanda na ano so napagkwentuhan namin sabi niya sabi niya sa akin kasi I am entrepreneur then so I have a small business so marami akong business anyway so ang sabi niya may binenta ako sa kanya na mask and a uh, face mask sabi niya abuti ka pa ano very rakitera ka yan ganyan sabi niya alam mo sa ibang bansa ang ang mga tao sa ibang bansa they uh, they go to school and learn para ma-practice to to build their own business to be an entrepreneur in the future ano pero dito daw sa atin sa Pilipinas uh, nag-aaral tayo para after makagraduate mag-aabroad ano basta makatapos lang maging isang empleyado so that is the thinking daw ng mga Pilipin- Filipino pero sa ibang bansa nag-aaral sila para maging isang entrepreneur, businessman, businesswoman. Yan. So, sabi ko, oh, maganda yung sinabi ni Ma. So, tama. Tama yung sinabi niya. Pero, I know naman that you youngs, the, the young Filipino, the young Filipinos are here not not just to study but to to build your own business someday, di ba? So, maganda naman yung meron kang isang business, you, you do run your own business and then you are the boss of your own business, diba? So, masarap sa feeling yung ikaw ang boss sa sarili mong negosyo. So, hindi ka na kailangan maging isang empleyado para, para, yun, magtrabaho para sa kanila. Well, anyway, too much talking for that. Okay, let's now, um, uh, move on okay as we moving on entrepreneurship is not just a simple business activity yeah it is a strategic process of innovation and new venture creation 
basically the entrepreneurship is both an art and science of converting business idea into a marketplace products or services to improve the quality of living. Yon, di ba ang ganda? That is the entrepreneurship. Okay, now, now that you have a little background, not the liter, but I know you have a background in the entrepreneurship. Can you now walk through in assessing your pecs? Yes, assessing your own pecs or your own personal entrepreneurial competency skills. But and always remember that successful entrepreneurs continuously develop and improve their pecs. Yes, totoo yon. Okay, to begin with, let us tr uh, first try to find out the competencies you will master as you finish this module. Okay, so ano ba yung ating uh, uh, expectations for this uh, module? So, uh, with here, our objectives is to identify the areas for improvement, development, and growth. Align your packs according to your business or career choice or career choices. And create a plan of action that ensures uh, success in your business or career choice. Yan. So now that you have the idea about the knowledge and skills that you will develop and master, take first the challenge of this e-module, okay? So, uh, answer me. Or just think about a question, okay? So, uh, even the opportunity to own a business that relates with your, with the cookery, are you confident to manage it? Explain your answer. So, uh, do you think uh, after this grade 12 under the TVL HA or Home Economics, are you confident to manage your own business someday? What do you think? Your answer is yes, of course. You are not putting your own business if you cannot manage it, right? Siyempre, lahat naman tayo, di ba sabi nga natin, di ba nga sabi natin kanina, the entrepreneurs are the risk taker. They're the confident problem solver. So, of course, if you are building your own business, of course, you are confident to manage your own business. Okay. So another question is, what do you think are the most important competencies you must possess in order to be successful in running your chosen business? What do you think? The most important. Ano, I, I know sa sabi nyo, syempre ma'am, the most important para magkaroon ng business is the capital. Yes, of course, capital is the first, ano, Siyempre, you cannot build a business without a capital. Okay. So, kayo na mag the, the rest of it. Okay? After answering all those questions to the best of your knowledge and skill, so, uh, I hope I hope that all of you answered are uh, to the best of your knowledge. Kumbaga, Sana yung mga sagot nyo maganda, no? Kasi dito naman sa ating, uh, dito sa ating first module na pinag-aaralan is for you if for you to enlighten and maybe you want to build a business someday, right? So, let's say uh, one of you mag-aral ng, uh, ng uh, business management, di ba? And maybe one of you are are uh, maging isang engineer. Ano? Pero a businessman. O, diba? May mga ganun. Okay. Well, anyway, as moving on, learning, what are the learning goals and targets? So, understanding the objectives for this, uh, of this e-module, having gone through the guide questions uh, that I have set to you, these goals will trigger you to further achieve the ultimate objective of this e-module. And uh, in this end, or in the end, these goals will motivate you to learn more about the PECs or the personal entrepreneurial competencies and skills. Okay, 
So, um, ano ba yung strategic process to achieve the objectives of this? So, syempre meron tayong tinatawag na goals and targets. Yan. Meron tayong mga goals and targets, di ba? Learning activities. Yan. May mga activities tayong gagawin. And of course, the ultimate goal is yung mga nabanggit ko kanina. Yung ultimate goal natin is to to finish this course, to achieve all the learning competencies that I have cited a while ago. Diba? So, yan. Okay, I have another set of questions for you. Are there other strategies and approaches where you can assess your pecs or your personal entrepreneurial competencies and skills? So, kindly you please explain what are those strategies will become more useful in uh, selecting a valuable or viable business venture. So, ano yung mga strategies and approaches na pwede nyo maisip para dito? So, uh, the entrepreneurial competencies refer to the important characteristic that should be possessed by an individual in order to perform the entrepreneurial functions effectively. So, uh, in here, there are few important characteristics, traits, attributes of a good entrepreneur. So, ano-ano ba ito? So, what are the most important characteristics? So, yun nga. So, number one is being hardworking. Hardworking. One of the important characteristics of a good entrepreneur is hardworking. Why? This means that habitually working diligently for a long period of time, uh, hardworking people keep on improving their performance to produce good products and or provide a good services. So, yan yung mga uh, characteristics of a hardworking person. Okay. Self-confident. Another one is a self-confident. Entrepreneurs have a confidence in one's ability and own judgment. They exhibit self-confidence in order to cope with all the risk of operating their own businesses. Yeah. They are confident to operate their own business. Another one is the discipline. A successful entrepreneurs always stick to the plan and fight the temptation to do what is unimportant. Di nila ginagawa yung mga unimportant. Kasi, they are stick to the plan and they fight for the temptation to do what not is the important. So, that's why focus sila. May disiplina. So, that is another important thing in the assessment of pecs. Okay? The fourth or another one is the committed. Yan, maganda to, committed. Sabi nga na iba, pag committed ka na, huwag ka na maghanap ng iba. Okay, joke lang, hindi yon. Okay, pag sinabing committed, a good entrepreneur accepts full responsibility of everything in his or her business. He or she gives full commitment and a solid dedication to make the business successful. So yan, dapat kasi tutok ka, focus ka sa iyong business. You are dedicated to your business. Kaya nga nakikita nyo dyan sa yung mga ibang tao, o I mean ibang businesses, yung mga may-ari ng businesses nila, they are focused into their business. Kasi pag hindi sila naging focus, naging pabaya sila, syempre yung, yung commitment mo, hindi ka ganun ka-committed to your business. Diba? maganda ay you accept the full uh, the full responsibility that's why you put a business kasi nga committed ka and once ibig sabihin na committed ka you you accept the full responsibility and in everything so full commitment and solid dedication is the important thing in in a pax okay Another one is able to accept change. Ayan. Able to accept change. What is this? Nothing is permanent but change. Change occurs frequently. 
when you own a business you should face your challenges and cope with changes capitalize on positive changes to make your business grow ayan another one is creative ayan ano ba yung creative So, an entrepreneur should be creative and innovative to stay in the business and in order to have an edge over the other competitors. So, yan. Dapat medyo unique ka para lagi kang pinupuntahan ng iyong customer or binabalik-balikan ka. Para lang magjowa yan, ba? Diba? So, pag nag-break, ayan. Dahil unique ka, babalikan ka. Okay, joke. Anyway, so has the initiative. Yan. An entrepreneur takes and takes the initiative. You must put yourself in the position where you are responsible for the failure or success of your business. So yan. Profit oriented. Ayan. Profit, okay? Profit. An entrepreneur enters into the world of business to generate profit. Sino ba nag-business ng palugi? Of course, that's why we put a business para kunita tayo to earn profit or additional income. This shall become the bread and butter for you, of course, and for your family as well. And therefore, you must see to it that the business can generate income. So, yun naman yung 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 purpose din and that's why we put a business to earn gain profit okay so uh, so ngayon alam niyo na yung assessment for the pecs so kaya na ba maging isang entrepreneur kaya niyo na ba oo naman kayang kaya okay how was your experience in discovering your strength and areas to be developed Did you gain a valuable valuable experience in uh, gaining or insights uh, insights with you nagkaroon na ba kayo ng uh, um, nag-isip na ba kayo ano ang um, pwede niyo iput na business or or something yes okay so since that we are uh, nakapag-isip na kayo okay. so uh, thanks for listening and watching so i hope to see you again soon so thank you pa bye para po sa mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe sa aking youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe click the button and please don't forget to tick the bell for you to inform or notify for my future uh video